What's going on, Rockstar members? My name's Chris Finale, and this is your Rock Recap for the week, where we bring you the top stories from the rock and roll world. For example, we're going to tell you what guitarist threw some serious heat at a couple of legendary metal acts, but he himself is a legend. Does it give him the right? Also going to tell you who's going to be releasing his 37th studio album, hopefully later on this year, and who's going to be opening for Guns N' Roses. No effects. They got a new book on the way that is definitely not safe for work. And finally, we're going to tell you what was the biggest story from the rock and roll community this past week, according to us. So get yourself a cup of coffee and enjoy. Metallica. They're celebrating the 30th anniversary of Master Puppets, but it was actually Carrie King of Slayer who was throwing some serious shade their way. C. King told RVA Magazine that Metallica and Iron Maiden are great, but they're living off their past success. No offense. Oh, he said no offense. Oh, okay, all is forgiven, right? Iron Maiden's currently on tour of Metallica's in-studio working on new music. It is official! Alice in Chains is opening for Guns N' Roses. Not for the entire tour, just for two nights at the T-Mobile Arena in Vegas. 1993 me, super excited for this! Same with this story. Neil Young is almost done recording his 37th studio album. The godfather of grunge told Rolling Stone that he's very happy with the way things are going, and he's collaborating with Promise of the Real. That consists of Micah and Lucas Nelson, the sons of Willie Nelson. The album should be out this year. Alright, if you're a little queasy, skip ahead. No Effects has a book coming out called The Hepatitis Bathtub and Other Stories, and you can read an excerpt for free. It's written by Fat Mike, and he says he drinks his girlfriend's urine and milks a female like a cow. Apparently, that all happened. The excerpts can be found on the band's Instagram account, at no effects, and the book is out April 12th. And finally, the big story in rock this week, the Foo Fighters are not calling it quits. A video was released by the band making fun of the idea of Dave Grohl going solo. You should check it out if you already haven't. And there is a surprise guest cameo too. That is your rock recap for the week of March 4th, 2016.